Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to achieve this look with your hair. Um, this is like a beach wave look, just a natural like loose curl. Um, and this is kind of my everyday look. And so I've had a lot of people request um, that I do a video to show how I achieve this. So, so stay tuned if you want to learn more. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with my Paul Mitchell um, Express Ion Gold Curling Iron. I have this in a one inch barrel and then I'm just going to clip up the top section of my hair to make it easier and I'm going to be taking about one to two inch sections of hair um, and starting to curl them um, from the base and feeding in to the ends. So um, I find that my clients, what they tell me their biggest issue or what I see them do when they try and show me how they curl their hair is that they want to take the section and suck it all the way down to the ends first and then like wrap up the rest of it. So um, essentially your ends don't need that much heat. So um, you want to work more at the base. So the base you can see is getting the heat for the longest because um, that's where you have the most hair. Um, as you get to the ends, it's definitely finer. And um, for this particular look that we're going for, we want to keep the ends a little bit more straight so you can notice that I'm not actually completely feeding the ends into the curling iron. So, so now I'm just taking all of these um, sections and I'm curling them away from my face. So just to reiterate what I'm doing here, I'm starting at the base of my hair, which is the most dense part, um, and just working my way down and again, leaving the ends out. So um, up to how I avoid any kinks in the hair is basically just don't hold the hair too taut. Um, hold it softer before you clamp it down and you won't see any kinks. Okay, so here I'm showing you the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press Heat Protecting Spray. I used it on the other side, but I didn't show it in the video, so I made sure to show it for this side. Um, I love this stuff and I think it is very important to use a heat protectant in your hair when using hot tools. Um, so here I am just repeating the same thing on the opposite side. You will find when you're doing this that one side's going to be easier than the other depending on whichever hand is dominant. Um, so there's Allison getting her hair done. <laughs> hey Al. <laughs> she just did my eyelash extensions which I am in love if you can kind of see them in the video. Um, I'm not wearing any mascara. We actually just um, uploaded a video kind of giving you some details on what the eyelash extensions entail. Um, so you can check out that video on my page. I just want to say that I can't get enough of them. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to not have them now because I am obsessed. <laughs> So just to give you a rundown of some of the products I've been using, um, obviously the Hot Off the Press Heat Protectant um, from Paul Mitchell, and um, in between I'm spraying some of the Paul Mitchell Awapui uh, Shine Spray, in which is basically like a dry oil, so it gives you all the benefits of an oil without technically like weighing your hair down. Um, I have obviously fine hair, so I love to use the dry oil because it gives me all the shine without making it too heavy because my baby hair strands just can't handle some of those heavy oils. So my biggest piece of advice when trying to achieve this look is to not focus too much on every single curl being perfect because um, by the end of it you might not even one curl that you thought looked terrible you might not even notice because the look in general is supposed to be more of a messy look so sometimes having the different types of curls mixed within that can just add to the texture and give it some more body so I always say wait until the end and if that same curl is still bothering you then you can go back in and fix it a little bit but sometimes you won't even notice it once it's all brushed out together Okay, so now that we have finished curling, we are going to run our fingers through this and kind of mess it up a little bit. Um, I like to let them set how I had them for a little bit, just in their like natural form. I feel like it just ends up holding better if you don't brush it out like right away. So here I am going in with more shine spray, can't get enough of it. Um, and so now I'm going to show you guys how I just add a little bit more fullness to my hair with some clip-in extensions. Obviously this is an optional piece of information, but um, that's my Paul Mitchell teasing comb. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a base to put to clip the clip-ins in. Um, so these are Bellamy clip-ins I ordered online a long time ago. Um, I actually colored them ombre when I was in cosmetology school, so <laughs> and those are already kind of curled, same way that I curled my hair. 
Um, and so basically, I just put these in every day almost <laughs> just to give myself some fullness. I'm still growing out a haircut um, that I've had for a long time. That's not my favorite, um, just with the shorter pieces on top. So I just kind of brush that all in so it blends together. Okay, and so to finish this look, I'm just going to do a little bit of back combing um, to add some volume and a little bit more body, give me some lift. Um, but one more thing I wanted to tell you guys is that a really cool thing we do at our salon is if you purchase a pro tool, um, like the one I'm using in this video, we will give you a free lesson in the salon on how to use it. So one-on-one -on -one with you and the stylist of your choice, um, and they'll teach you everything you need to know about the tool you're buying and how to create different looks with it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.